Since I was going to be showing you how to make some pickled eggs then I would also go ahead and show you how I like to cook my hard-boiled eggs to begin with. I'm also going to show you a method to use if you don't have an instant pot like I do. So I use my instant pot now but you can also just use a regular steamer basket like this one and steam your eggs that way. It, it's maybe not as nice, I would say, as using your Instant Pot. I like using my Instant Pot, to be honest, but it's a great method. So what a lot of people don't realize is that when you have farm fresh eggs, like I do, that those new really fresh eggs are not going to hard boil as easily. So steaming them, particularly with a pressure canner set up, that will make it so that the, the shells come off a lot easier. Because what happens when you just boil them, like most people do with when they're making hard boiled eggs, is that the, the coating of the shell to the little membrane that's around the egg is so close and so packed together that it just kind of peels that whole egg white off and so it's really messy and not very fun and sometimes your eggs are a little mushy too so it's just not the best but if you have farm fresh eggs and you want to hard boil your eggs anyways these are great methods so I thought I would show them to you and take you along with me since I'm making you eggs anyways okay so I have my little pot with the steamer rack and what I put in here is just less than an inch of water. So it's just plain old tap water. And to that, I'm going to add just a splash of vinegar. And then I'm going to put this back in. And if you have one like this, I just leave the legs down. And since it's such a small amount of water, it's fine. You're not going to cook this for a very long time, so so this will be fine just like that. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing in my Instant Pot. Again, there is not a lot of water in there. It's not going to cook for very long. It's fine. I'm going to add just a splash of vinegar. Put that back. And I, ha I just have a wire basket just because it's easier. If you have one of these, it will go in there too. If you have a different kind of wire basket, it will go in there. The only thing I want to put in there is something with plastic on it. This is that silicone stuff. So it's, it's food grade, food ready, whole nine yards. I like using stainless steel for these kinds of things just because I'm like that. Um, I actually wish that this little safety handle was stainless steel and that this wasn't on there, but you get what you get sometimes. So I've got my two baskets in there and then I've got all of these eggs here. And so I'm going to take those eggs and I'm going to put them over there as soon as I set you guys down. Okay, so I have my eggs and I'm just going to put maybe six in this and then I'm going to put the rest in my Instant Pot. It's like I said. I like the Instant Pot better, and it's only a few more eggs. Okay, so 
we have eggs in there and eggs in there. And the Instant Pot is really easy. So I make sure that it's on pressure here so that it's not venting. Venting is down that way. Pressure's up here. Put the lid on. And everybody's Instant Pot is a little different. On mine, I press manual. And then I like to do this for eight minutes. I think it will work between seven and nine. I've done it at nine, but my problem is, is that sometimes I forget <laughs> to come back. And so I want to cook it a little bit less than, than the full nine minutes. So if you're at all like me, do it this way. You, you may even choose to do it a little less than that. For me, this seems to work fine because I'll put another timer on too that's like 15 minutes long because it, what, what it's going to do is it's going to come up to pressure and then it's going to time. Yeah, so we'll just wait for this. Oh, and I also will change the pressure because I was doing something else. So keep it on high pressure. And so that will go by itself and we'll go over to the stove and boil this up. Okay, so we're at the stove now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these eggs out for a moment. I'm gonna put the lid on the pot. It's good to have a pot with a tight fitting lid. I actually wish it didn't have this even, this little steam hole, but. And then I'm just gonna turn it on to high. And I'm going to bring this up to a nice boil and then we'll put this back in. Okay, so you can see our water is boiling now and it's quite hot actually. So I'm going to grab a pot holder and then we're going to put these eggs back in. And I'm going to try and be quick about it because I don't want the steam to lose, get it loose because that's what I'm trying to get, go for. So back in there, and I will smell vinegary. Just forewarning you, a face full of vinegar steam is not very nice. Now that this is in here, we're gonna leave it in there for 12 minutes, and then we're gonna proceed from there. Okay, so this thing just beeped, and what I need to do now is make sure that I push this keep warm off and start my venting. So I'm going to very carefully press that over and vent it because I don't want it to get on. I try to keep it off of my, my counter and my um, cabinet because it's messy. But and then we're just going to let that vent for a second until it stops heating and then I can take the lid off. Okay, so it's starting to lose its steam, so very carefully lift the lid off. And then we have some eggs. So right away, I'm going to want to take these out and I've got just an ice water bath, and then I'm going to run the cold water on them. And you can see they're all still nice and intact. Part of that is because they were at room temperature, and I think the other part is somewhat to do with that vinegar. So then we're just going to carefully, carefully dump these now. And they may crack a little, but at this, this point that's fine. And then what I like to do is try and get them down there. And then I've got just cold water, so I'll run my sink for a second. You want it to be really cold. And the faster I get these eggs cold, that's also going to help with the peeling and all just keeping those eggs nice and dense as well. So I'll just kind of come over here and check it every so often and make sure that that water is still cold. The ice will help and we'll see how it does. 
Okay, so our timer's going off here too. And so we're gonna turn those off and I'm gonna grab my pot holder and take you over to the sink. Okay. these eggs did. You'll notice that some of them did in this one. Maybe if I can get it turned around here. You can see this one cracked. And so what you'll notice is that it didn't all ooze out everywhere. That's the vinegar. That's helpful. And so I've got another ice bath here all ready to go. And I'll add a little cold water. Same time, I'm going to test this one, and yes, it's starting to get just a tiny bit warmer than the water I was putting in there. So I'll just run a little more water in there for a bit. Let me get them back to that temperature. It's probably not helping to have this hot here. That's good and hot. And so I'm just trying to keep these as cool as possible. So once I have them pretty cool, I'll get rid of some of that water. And then I'm just going to throw these in my, in my refrigerator and let them cool off a little bit. A lot of the times I'll drain all the water off beforehand. I don't think it really makes too much difference, but if you want to leave some water in it, that's fine as well. I I kind of think that the eggs taste a little better if they've they've maybe gotten dry some. But I know a lot of people will just leave them soaking in water, so either way is fine. So now we will come back in. Usually I wait I wait at least probably two hours before I do anything else with them so I'm going to go milk indigo and do some chores for the evening and then I'll put my eggs. Okay I'm back from taking care of the goats and I've had an outfit change. These are my farm clothes. They're pretty clean right now so I'm gonna go ahead and try out one of each of these eggs. So these are the ones that I did in the pot on the stove and these are the ones that I did in the instant pot so let's see how they peel and I know a lot of people will say I'll put them in a jar or shake them up and things like that but I'm just gonna do it this way because this is how I do it and so get some of the peel going easy peasy comes right off it easier. eggs either on your stove top or in an instant pot. It's really easy even if you have fresh homemade eggs. Thanks.